Afternoon baseball now and a fine Sunday for our national pastime from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. James Paxton gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? If you want to pick up a win as a starting pitcher, you have to go five innings to get the win. And that's just what Tampa he did Bay. the last one. The I'm sure base. he'd like to be out there for sure. a little bit longer in this one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Time now for a look at the Rays starting nine. Nero, what's the word on this lineup as they go for the series sweep? Well, Matty, this lineup's going to have to find a way to score early. Get this pitcher uncomfortable, stay on the attack, get into the bullpen. That's the name of the game. They let this guy settle in, he'll breeze through seven strong. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. And the streak is alive. As you can see on the graphic, he creeps ever closer to the big number 56. Amazing what this guy has been able to do. Think about the pressure every day he gets to the ballpark. Members of the media right. asking about the streak and he keep it going. Is he looking forward down the line? Amazing how he's been able to concentrate through all of this. Yeah, and how it affects everyone else around him because everyone's pushing for him to get a knock every night. You can't lose sight of trying to win ball games, but man, the ball this ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The catcher, Mike. Next will be the cleanup Zanino. hitter, Mike Zanino. And a great chance here for the Rays to add on in just the first inning. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Oh, that's well hit. Deep center field. Looking up is Hicks. Gone into Monument Park. Two run shot to straight away center so a milestone here and even 50 home runs on the year now as the Rays have opened up a three nothing lead stepping in now Daniel Robertson as he will line this one into right center and this is going to get down and should be extra bases and he'll pull into second with one away batting fifth the right fielder. That'll bring in Guillermo Heredia now. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. First pitch on its way. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Behind 0 oh and 2 now. Robertson, the runner at second with one away. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now that with one Kevin, away. The center fielder. So first and Kevin third with one away. Kiermaier. And that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. First pitch of the at bat. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. So far on the year, Kiermaier is carrying around an absurd batting line, coming in in excess of 500. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. It's a third now, but he's safe as two runs come across to score away from the play. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. 
Standing in now, Willie Adamas, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. As a manager, when you see a guy struggling like this in the first thing, your mind starts racing trying to figure out about how long you're going to go with this guy and how many guys you might end up having to use out of your... And add one more as this is now a 6 nothing ball game. Man, you never want to say a game is, is over in the first thing. The first There's still a lot of time left to come back and rally, but four. down six to nothing is an awfully big hole to dig yourself out of, and the inning isn't even wow. over yet. No offer at that point. It's a cold strike. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. You know, Dero, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and oh, say, is that as far as there. you're going today? And the Woody will day. usually give you an answer. Joey. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart most likely to a chorus of booze here as he just didn't have it today as he leaves without being able to finish an inning. Hey, that's a huge pitch right there. You've got to get ahead. When you start to see traffic on the base pass, your defense starts to tighten up a little bit. The best thing to do is pound the zone and get ahead 0-1. Hicks is there, two gone. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Matt Duffy will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The 0-1. Line drive to left. Stanton is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. We'll move on to the The bottom half of inning number one. Tampa Bay leads this. Blake Snell will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Pleszak, what do you got? Uh, they're going to have to start gone. calling Where's this guy Yankee? Blake Nasty. This the guy is one of the guy. top pitchers DJ. in all of baseball. My opinion, Love the best stuff on the left side in the game right now. Upper to mid 90s fastball, 95 to 98. Good curveball, good changeup. Good slider. He throws any pitch at any time for strikes. He's taken that next step. We're Morning talking second. about a legitimate Cy Young contender Era. year after year. Blake Snow, hey. as good as anybody in the game right now. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Thoughts, Stan? Who stands out? Well, it's no secret. They need the big Giancarlo Stanton to turn it around soon. Right. Looking at the last game, it was 0 for 3, but it was the way he went about that 0 for 3. He didn't look very aggressive, and actually, he, he looked kind of lost to me. I'm wanting to see a different player in that batter's box today. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Aaron Hicks Thanks, becomes the second the right out of the bottom of the first. Aaron. And that's swung on and missed for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his... Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. He 
Into the box. Tommy Pham. He'll start Leading things out in the Bay. top half of the second. The left fielder, number First 29. pitch of the at-bat. Tommy. In the air to center field and deep back at the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. A solo shot that time for Tommy Pham. 24 home runs for him on the season as this lead swells to 7 to nothing. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already now in the series. That's I'm not sure what more they need to see, but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to right now. Backhanded. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Not particularly now, graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Runner at first following the error, and standing in is the DH, Daniel Robertson. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Zanino isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He'll score easily as they push their lead to eight now. Man, that was a comedy of errors right there. They're kicking the ball all over the yard, and the runner on first comes all the way around to score. So you wonder why managers retire early? There's your answer right there. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. All right, here's how the Bronx now Bombers that. are going to set up defensively today. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Didi Gregorius. Not only has this guy been knighted, yes, they call him Sir Didi back in his homeland, Curacao. He's one of the best ball players coming down the pike, starting with Andrew Jones, Xander Bogarts, and it's Didi Gregorius this time. Hits from the left side of the plate with power and the ability to go in the hole with one of the strongest arms in the game. Now a drive out to left center field. And this one will bounce into the wall. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. Make it 9 nothing. Throw to third, but he's in there. As a run will score on the play as well. Shortstop. Really. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Willie Adamas. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back up. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. In the score, the runner from third. Usually when you score a lot of runs in one inning, like this inning, you're doing a lot of things right. And how about this? A sack by to drive in another run. They have to be happy with this. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The baseball is a game of streaks now, and Matt, runs, and he is on big. one right now. Yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can, and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick, and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so 